What's going on people? Bringing you back a, another video from the Hybrid Gamer. Uh, just want to have a little quick talk about Martinelli. Our prized asset to come out today and ask um, if an interview saying that uh, he was obviously started off at Barcelona while well, he's in Brazilian League but he had tryouts at Barcelona and um, they didn't want him. So happy days. But he's also um, been probably the most consistent player we've had all season and the most impactful player as well. So um, I'm very happy to move Martin Elite, he's such a, such a brilliant player. Um, I mean, stats say for everything. Uh, 23 games, 10 goals, 4 assists. He's actually scored more goals than Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo uh, combined. Real Madrid, so he's um, light years ahead, but um, we just need to tie him down to a big contract now. A 10 year contract would be lovely, but um, got rough in five years. Um, he seems to love Arsenal, he seems to love North London, he's fitted in like, fitted in like a glove, you know. Um, so I'm absolutely over the moon with him. Um, I mean, now we've got the winter break now, people, so we've got no, no football. But um, I'm going to do a couple of different videos, We're still talking about the football. Um, I'm probably going to do a little review on the uh, new plant-based Burger King Whopper. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. See what that says. So, this ain't just a football show, this is loads of things combined. Um, gaming reviews, food reviews, I'm going to start doing film reviews. Um, still talking about the Arsenal at the same time. Um, yeah, what else have we got to talk about today? Um, my friend was really over the moon with the work that we've done. Um, he said thank you so much for your help, so I was over the moon with that. Um, if I get any more of them sort of videos, I know what we'll do. But, um, um, so in the interview of Martinelli that he'd done, uh, he was saying obviously that Unai Emery was the first person to give him a chance at Arsenal. I mean, of all the things Unai Emery done and got wrong, he was he's not a bad coach, you know, he's just the language barrier got in the way and um, I think the players weren't really coming on with him and getting along with him very well. So you know, obviously it was inevitable that he had to go, sort of thing. But um, I know he's not a bad coach, but he'll probably end up getting another job in Spain. And that's where his ties are, because obviously he's Spanish, isn't he? So he's got his ties there. But um, Mikel Arteta has come out and said um, he's very impressed with Martinelli's um, behaviour on and off the pitch. Um, Martinelli, Martinelli also come out and said when he was uh, trying out for Barcelona. Uh, he made very good friends with Ansu Fati. And obviously Ansu Fati is a very good player, an up and coming player as well for uh, Barcelona. But um, a, little bit, a little bit about Messi. I mean, it was really yesterday that uh, Messi was at a row with the director of Barcelona or something like that, some sort of director. Um, and they could be talking him come to Man United, uh, Manchester City. So I don't know how true that's going to be. It might be just paper talk. But um, I'd love to see Messi in the Premier League, it'd be great. But obviously not for Manchester City, he could obviously come to Arsenal, it'd be great. But could you imagine if he left Barcelona and went to Juventus, and then you'd have Ronaldo on the left, Messi on the right, and like Dybala and whoever's up front of them now. I can't imagine that, that would be a tip, one of the two best players in the world. Um, over the last 15 years in the same team together. I mean, that would be a quite amazing situation. Um, what else have we got to talk about today? We've got um, uh, a, lot, a two week break, so there's going to be no football. But um, we'll find something to do, people. We'll, um, I'll start doing, I'll, as you say, I'm going to do the review on the uh, Burger King plant based burger. I mean, I've been eating, I have been like, Beating it, trying to cut me out of my diet because um, I've been trying to do a lot more exercises and stuff like that. But um, 
I just feel like meat for me at the moment is just not doing my stomach any good. So I've been getting a lot more vegetables in my diet and cutting, trying to cut the takeaways out. I mean, that, that burger I'm going to have on uh, Saturday, the burger plant-based, whopper, whatever it is, I just want to test it out and see what it's like because if it's nice, I'll probably end up getting it again. But um, uh, Saturday, we'll be going to check that tracksuit out, people, see, if, uh, see which one I like, really. There wasn't many comments about it, so... Um, I'm probably just going to go with what I like and see how it goes sort of thing but um, uh, updates on the guest I don't know if I'm going to get, be able to get my mate on Saturday because he's apparently got some other uh, other plans to do I will get him on but I'm going to try and find another um, I'm going to try and find another uh, guest for Saturday probably be one of my favourites in Arsenal supporter so hopefully we'll get him on and ask him a few questions and stuff like that but um, what else have we got to talk about today? Uh, not not that much else. But um, please stick a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the Hybrid Gamer, um, and I will be back tomorrow, people, with um, some more updates on the Arsenal players and um, see how things are going on and the training, and see if we've got any um, the injured people we've got, and if any other players are going to be back time for the Newcastle game so hopefully everyone's gonna have a lovely um, weekend I'll see you tomorrow people and um, we'll do a review we'll do a, a review of the Burger King burger the plant-based one so that should be interesting so uh, until tomorrow peace people